pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the March 16th meeting. Uh, minutes of the March 2nd, 2022 meeting. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Financial report and payment of the bills. So moved. We have a motion a second. and a second. Any discussion? I actually uh, had a few today, but I was able to uh, dig in a little bit and, and got the answers for them. Uh, hearing no other discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, we have a proclamation P4-2022. Miss Elizabeth Pennington, where are you at? Come on up, come on up. Come on up. Our whole board's going to come down and visit you. We're all going to come down. Congratulations. Listen, I, I get an opportunity to tell everyone when I was a swimmer, I had a nickname Rock. They called me Rock. I wasn't very good. But Elizabeth, I'd like to read this to you on behalf of the town of Elton. So the mayor and commissioners of the town of Elton, Maryland, and this is to Miss Elizabeth Pennington. Whereas Elizabeth Pennington's love of swimming began when she was eight years old. And whereas while Elizabeth's competition season was interrupted during the 2020 and 2021, she continued to train and stay committed to her goals. Whereas Elizabeth's current backstroke swim times are faster than the standings at Rowan University, where she will continue her studies in 2022. And whereas Elizabeth truly recognizes the importance of dedication to her family, her sports, and her studies. Now, therefore, the mayor, commissioners, and the citizens of Elton hereby extend our sincere appreciation and best wishes to this outstanding citizen, Miss Elizabeth Pennington, and furthermore, under the authority vested in me as mayor of the town of Elton, I hereby declare, declare March 16th, Elizabeth Pennington Day in the town of Elton. Thank you. Thank you. So today is your day. Now we're going to get a photograph and smile. We've got a little card here for you from the mayor commissioners. So, okay, we've got to shift over a little bit. Are you going to study marine biology? I'm studying biomedical engineering. So close, but... I think if you were a swimmer, you'd get out. Smile big. Here we go. Mind slide. Got it. Thank you. Okay, we've oh, got one more. We want to get... Uh, can we get some of the administration up here? You want a photo up here? Come on up here. And the family. Come on, let's get a big picture up here. Come on up here. Come on, Grandma. Come on, bring the family up. All smiles. We're very proud of this young lady. I know everyone else is. You might have to grab the stadium. <laughs> Can you get us all in there, Lou? Hey, listen, I got a camera. I can get anything in anywhere. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Here we go. Once more. Got it. All right. I think I can land. <laughs> Fantastic. Got anything to say? Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to give you one of the uh, points. Thank you so much. You know, it, it really it really means a lot to us when we have members of our community do wonderful things. Thank you. There you go. Sister Lightgab, like before, before you leave, this yeah. young lady here didn't know you were the principal of Alton High School. She said, oh. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Oh, that's okay. It's, it's, it's the truth. It's so nice to meet yeah, you. Thank 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 
Okay, next up we have the Cecil County Arts request for street closure. You two would like to have a seat there because we've got some questions for you. And you probably have some answers for us. Okay, we have Miss Anna Marie Hamilton Hello. and Mrs. Gabby Counts. Hi, ladies. And um, tell us what you want to do. I want to close Hard and North Street for an art festival on May 13th, 2022, from noon to 4, or maybe 11 to 5. So, of course, I don't And uh, how many vendors are we looking at? As of yesterday, we had 15. And we have an eight-piece band that will be playing on a stage on North Street. Speaking of stages, do you know how to borrow one? Mm, good question. Uh, we would have to ask Mr. Dan Hanley as we get closer. Uh, you know, our uh, we, we have your application. Uh, I think that the uh, one concern that we have, or that was uh, mentioned to us by our public safety division, is that it normally takes us 60 days to get the application from the state highway so we can if we give approval we can move forward and ask for permission but you know it's cutting it close to that date so I, I can't I can't say that they're going to give us the blessing right away or any of that I think uh, in fact I knew Jessica's been through this many a time does anyone on the board have any comments questions or issues with any of this well I think we should push it forward immediately to try to get it done for them Good with it. Listen, I, I don't I don't have any issue with it. So uh, let's uh, let's. Uh, but, but, but before you go, what is the gist of your day? It's primarily artists who will be doing demonstrations. They also will have work for sale. We are not charging them a table fee. We're not taking any commission. It's just trying to get a little extra people in town and in convinced space. Will there be a rain date? So far there is not a rain date because we do not believe in rain spoiling our events. I, um, the rain date would be uh, up to the band. That, that would be the problem. So. Ha, has anybody talked to PNC Bank? Are they okay with closing the... If you want to go past Jimmy's, I think, like up here. The band might. If I, so you would, oh, okay, so it wasn't from high to the no, 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 no. Oh, okay. It was just partial up on the street. So, like, just beyond the like drive through. Like, was it when you went off Yes. 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 But it's not certain it's not going to affect PNC back in. Anyway. Up until the 12 ish, probably. Mm -hmm. Or not? I don't think they were. No, no, that range is not open on Sunday. Oh, Saturday. never off. It's only the one in the I know. I knew Columbia yeah. was open. Yeah, Columbia, and, and they're hit or miss sometimes anymore. So I don't think we'll affect. I don't think there we'll affect know. anything. Used to be years ago, our challenge was we had uh, the two hair salons and we had the pharmacy, and it was a challenge for uh, elderly to get their medication and or their haircut. And uh, now it's uh, kind of changed. The, the situation's changed. So I would say I'm not sure of the procedure. May I ask yeah. you, just in case, for instance, let's say if State Highway were to not approve it, would you want to determine an alternate site so that your vendors and everybody else can get started for your event? And then if you can't have it from Jimmy's down to Main Street, would you want to try an alternate site and then it's ready to go and you won't have to scramble at the last minute? I mean, we can approve, we can approve contingent upon the State Highway approval, but if you wanted to just go ahead and make sure we wanted to move forward with the event. We could certainly approve the municipal parking lot uh, behind <clears throat> behind Minahans. Uh, we can try to work to maybe get the uh, county parking lot uh, by the uh, the old Cecil Bank building there, which is a nice parking lot where the where the Boy Scouts would stage for the for the race. Mm -hmm. So. That will work. I would say then let's let's make a motion to approve the event. We have a motion. So moved. Second. And a second. Any discussion on that at all? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So the event has been approved, and what we're going to go ahead. Who applies for the? Who's going to contact the state highway? That's usually coordinated with Lieutenant Waldridge. Yeah. Okay. I'll stay in contact with him, and, and I have the paperwork as well. I can I can get with him, and then I do all the approvals with the rest of the ones we have for the year. And so we can just lump it in with ours and get everything. And, and I would almost, 
the reason why I'm asking if you had a rain date now and you put it all on the application, then it's all kind of approved at the same time if there was a hiccup. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to it. I might come down and paint. Sell some of my uh, works. We had you down for belly dancing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he would do it. So. All right. Next up, next up, we have a request for waiver of annexation fees regarding Patriots Land Landing. Uh, Mr. Bra uh, Brandon Stover, Esquire, is he online? I've just asked him to unmute. There he is. Hello, Mr. Stover. Mr. Mr. Stover, can you hear me? I can't hear you. We're going to check our system. But uh, what this is in reference to, uh, Mr. Stover is uh, representing uh, the... There he is. Hello, Mr. Stover, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Just a moment. We're working on it. Maybe we could get. Hey, Andy, can you bring in Andy? Can you bring in Andy Rodriguez, and then I'll see if it's uh, see if it's us or Andy. Can you say anything? I guess you are trying to say something to the computer. Yeah, they, neither of them. Neither of them can speak. Okay. And Andy can't. Andy can't get any. Oh, he's muted. Andy's muted. Just a moment. Man, that's a good trick. <laughs> so we're going to check. Bear with us. Now, Andy is unmuted. Andy, are you unmuted? On this end, he is holding. No, it still said mute up at the top on his. No, that gives you the opportunity to mute him. He's unmuted. No, we're not getting. Him. Bear with us. I'll kind of tell the board, Mr. Stover, I can't hear you yet, but I'm going to tell the board what this is in reference to. Okay, what this is in reference to... Did you check it earlier? Uh, what this is in reference to, the uh, properties of Patriots Landing Annexation Agreement, which was uh, done in what year, Lou? Uh, I don't have the agreement with me. The... Uh, the, the basically, uh, I think it was around 2003, 2002, 2000, it was after me. It was, I was not part of this. So no, it's not, uh, uh, Jim Wolf was uh, involved with Patriots Landing and then uh, there was an incentive, uh, the, the petition for annexation for that parcel um, over across uh, Muddy Lane adjacent to Patriots Land and Jim Wolf uh, from LLC, whatever. Put a an incentive for the town uh, to be paid ten thousand dollars per lot, and there was a hundred lots involved as an incentive to annex. And of course, they went into an agreement. And an attorney named Steve Luch did the uh, payment. Uh, you probably I don't know if you remember him or not. Yeah. But he he uh, did all the work for Morris Wolf and that group. And uh, the, the town agreed to it, and the parties agreed to it. Now I believe that they want to uh, have the town. Uh, change their course. So it's a different owner now, uh, correct? I don't think the owners are any different. I think it's any saw on that group that's still there. I don't think it's ever been sold yet. Well, we'll, we'll uh, see if Mr. Stover is... Mr. Stover, can you can you speak and see if, it, if it's not working yet? No. I, can you hear me? Hey, we got you! Woo! Hey, okay. Hey. Um, so, for the record, Bradley R. Stover, uh, and I actually was working for Steve Luch and Mr. Wolf uh, way back when I had brown hair in 2006 when that initial annexation agreement was done. Um, as far as the status of it, it's under contract to be purchased by a developer working on behalf of NBR Homes, a gentleman by the name of Dave Sobzak. I represent NBR, the ultimate uh, home builder. So, it, while the legal title has not changed it, it is under contract and some seven 16 years later is finally slated to be developed and built very good and uh 
Can you go over exactly what the uh, agreement here was, the $10,000 per lot? Do you, can you give us a little background? Certainly. Uh, so this is an agreement that was recorded in the land records of Cecil County back in June of 2006. Uh, as an annexation agreement typically does, it has a handful of business terms that the developer and the uh, town uh, municipality uh, discuss and enter into, and then this particular one was actually recorded in land records so that it's binding upon the land. Um, the specific request that MDR and the developer are honing in on is under Section 5G of that recorded agreement. And what that section provided, and let me pull up the language exactly in front of me here, was for a uh, payment of a fee of ten thousand dollars per building app, per building permit application um, for a, and there was a minimum uh, threshold of units at uh, seventy building permits. So. Again, that was done back in 2006, uh, as somebody pointed out by uh, Jim Wolf, the original developer of Patriots. And that is the narrow um, scope of what uh, MBR and the developer are asking that the town to consider uh, waiving, uh, just given the uh, development cost increase and the fact that this subdivision is sat dormant for, I said 14 years from my letter, but I'm off. It was actually 16 years. I got gotcha. you. So the, uh, the uh, question is, is whether uh, we move forward with uh, holding the annexation agreement, uh, and then you would still pay the uh, water and sewer fees for the site. Right. So right, right. now you're, you feel like, I, 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 I wasn't part of this agreement in 2006, but I, I do remember that uh, the housing market was very hot, and I think at Patriots Glen they were getting close to $100,000 per lot at that time. So I don't think the hookups or the uh, extra $10,000 made any difference. Uh, today, you'd be a little bit behind the eight ball uh, if you're paying the hookup fees and the extra $10,000 per. But I know it was an agreement with the town to annex in by the uh, property owners, as I'm assuming who, who took up uh, took uh, on this. I, I'd like to have a discussion uh, with uh, with council. We're going to have a closed meeting uh, on another issue a little bit later on today, but uh, I'd like to uh, discuss this with council before we got back to you and talk to you about this. That would be perfectly fine. To the extent it's helpful, um, you know, I could have some pro forma information provided that you know, justifies the request, which is, again, based on the increase in development costs, um, the numbers just don't quite work, and I'd be happy to provide that if you think that's something after speaking with council that you think would be helpful. I, I think, uh, does anyone have any questions for Mr. Stover at all? I, I think it's straight out what you're requesting, and uh, we'll get right back to you uh, probably be in a day or so after we, we discuss this. Very good. Uh, and if there are any questions the next day or two, feel free to have council reach out to me and be happy to answer what I can. Thank you, Mr. Stover. Thank you. Great, thank you all. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, the next item is off. Lou, you're on. Um, historic Health Landing request for waiver of all prohibition, Founders Day, April 30th. I think they're having an event in Elk Landing and they, they want to have uh, alcohol there and they need a uh, waiver uh, from the mayor commissioner. Uh, I can tell you I went to uh, one of the festivals there at Elk Landing. Now, this is the first annual Defenders Festival. Yes. And, uh, Pat, I think, uh, I think everyone knows where my heart is when it comes to Elk Landing. So uh, I, I think it's uh, an opportunity for more and more people to see the, the venue, and I think it's very important to have these little events like this. So uh, anyone have any questions about the alcohol waiver down there for this event? Nope. We have a motion to approve the uh, alcohol waiver for Founders Day, April 30th. So moved. Second. Got a motion, a second, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion Aye. carries. Cool. There you go. Thank you, Pat. Okay, the next item I have is a public works agreement for 732 Pulaski <coughs> Highway LLC. This is going to be uh, that development at the corner of Pulaski Highway and Maloney Road. 
used to be a coffee, little coffee place there, and I've seen Foley Motel and all that. It's going to be uh, demoed out there, and graded, and they're going to build, I think, at 7-Eleven. I think it's 7-Eleven. And uh, this public work agreement involves the uh, public improvements to include wastewater uh, or sewer line and a water line only, not roads or anything. So uh, I would ask the board to uh, tentatively approve this contingent upon uh, receipt of the approved plans and the bond by the uh, LLC in this case. So that's all it is, water and sewer line, and I'll handle it from here once the board gives tentative approval of this contingent on those two items, the, the uh, bond and receipt and the, uh, the, the group plan signed off by KCI. Do we have a motion to approve the public works agreement, uh, 732 Pulaski Highway LLC, contingent upon the items that uh, our town administrator brought forth? Second. Second. Got a motion? Second. And a second. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, Lou. That's the items I have. Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to ask the board to go into closed session, uh, and, and it's actually in regards to a couple things. One, we're going to talk about that agreement, but Jess, you're probably here about the memorandum of understanding with the alliance. Or uh, not? Well, I was showing support for the Arts Council, and if you had any questions about what she had submitted, I just wanted to be here. Perfect. And then I also um, well, was going to make sure you all got a flyer for the... Uh, for our Purdy Yard celebration. Yeah, that's, that's going to be. Uh, that's Mr. Great. So we're looking at Saturday, April 2nd. So I want to make sure you guys. Perfect. And know about that. So that, that is really what we're doing. I'm, I, as crazy as it sounds, I will be out of town on that day. Uh, be in South Carolina. I'm just for one day. You want to give me the rest of those you got, Jessica? Oh, that's sure. what I'm doing. Yeah, I've got a few more here. I would like to make one comment, yeah. I, and I just got this today, uh, indirectly through Delmarva. If I've interpreted the English language correctly uh, from these SHA plans, they, they plan to go forward with uh, a sidewalk project running from East Main Street, or Lant on Delaware Avenue, from East Main Street to Crestwell Avenue, including what? the pedestrian bridge. Woo! Pedestrian Why were you bridge. keeping that from us? I just got it today, <laughs> and, but I, I sent a confirmation of Benjamin Storm. He's the project manager with the structures. And uh, I asked for a confirmation. I copied three or four other people in SH2. For, I wanted the notice to proceed, you know, actually win the project. And I got it indirectly through Junawana with uh, Del Marva because Del Marva has to move, uh, I think, uh, one pole and in order for this to happen. I'm not sure which pole it is. They gave me the number, but I ain't down yet. And, uh, and then I think that will clear for utilities. And then uh, they describe, you know, all the work that's going to be done and everything. But uh, State Highway, uh, I'm so glad that they're going to release this project. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of time now because it's been sitting on the back burner for years now. Yeah, that's wonderful. Jean, you had um, something? I also received an email uh, regarding them requesting if uh, we would accept the fee in lieu for the critical area uh, mitigation that's going to be required for that same project, and I told them we would accept the fee and low. Nice. <clears throat> so, so they would provide funding to us for uh, forest reforestation in the critical area uh, within the buffer. So it's a, I think it's going to be in about the amount of $7,500. Wonderful. So sure. we're going to get a pedestrian bridge with the one that's there stays. That's correct. That's what it sounds like. Well, now that we've reached this point, is there a timeline as to when it might actually happen? No, no, I don't have a notice to proceed yet. They, they, won't, they won't give that to me yet until they finish uh, the, all the utility work. Are we talking weeks, months? Do you even know? Mm -hmm. they years. Project, mm -hmm. I can't guess at it. I think they will say that way for a lot of yeah, years. Yeah, at least it's on the I can't guess uh, what they're going to do. I'm just glad it's. Uh, I got plans. Yeah. That's the that's the big thing. 
Very good. Very good. Well, listen, I had a couple things. Uh, one, uh, you know, I didn't find out till today until I looked in the paper, but congratulations to Coach Gibbons. For what? Coach of the Year. <laughs> what? Awesome. Coach of the Year and uh, wonderful. I'm getting to autograph my copy. But it's in here today, and I'm getting an autograph at for me. But uh, wonderful, uh, Coach. No wonder you don't need me. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's on one of those pages in there. But uh, Charlie's been named Coach of the Year. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, Lou. On uh, another note, I was uh, the pump house on Walter Bolden Street. Is that our largest pump house? No, uh, it's 2OR. That's a well. It's, uh, it's rated for 100,000 gallons a day. Is, is that, is that, uh... It's new. I, I know it's new, and I guess what I was, here's my question, my point of question is, is I was looking at the Del Marva bills, and that one is so much higher than all the other houses or wells, I think. Can you take a look at that? It would be higher than three, but it would be higher than one or one R because it's out of service. And five uh, is down, it should be equivalent to five because it's a rated 100,000 gallons a day too. Five is down by the treatment plant, but I'll look at it. Don't yeah, can you cool. take a look at that? It, it, house number two. Yeah, Somebody it just looked number like four. it was a, a, a high number to me and I might be missing something, but yeah. Yeah. it may not. Maybe it's running all the time. Maybe that's why we got, uh, Maybe that's why we got some uh, uh, discolored water. Maybe it's running too much. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why it's running. I don't know. All right. Uh, that's all I have. Uh, Rob? Um, give me a second. Move on. All right. Gene? Uh, no, but congratulations, Charlie. This is an awesome tribute Thank you. to you. You definitely deserve it. Charles? Everything's for the kids. Um, Fish and Derby, Rob Massimiano, do you have any information out on that? Because there were some people in the community asking. Yes, I am uh, poised to spring forward with that, with that event uh, this coming week. I'm going to start doing the footwork and gathering sponsors and um, contributions, uh, monies, gifts that we can give out to the kids like we did last year. I'm, I, I want to make sure that I'd like to see every child leave there with something this year. We almost got there last year and I believe we will this year. I'm going to push it a little bit harder. Um, I know that the town was very generous in donating some money toward the rodeo last year and stocking the pond. Um, I don't really want to ask for that, but if you want to do that, that would be, that'd be great. What about stocking the pond? I thought they stocked it. How does that work? Uh, we stocked the pond about two weeks before the fishing rodeo with catfish, and it really helped to make a great day. Every kid caught fish. What was the uh, date of last year's? I don't remember the exact date. But it was, it was in the third summer. Saturday in May. It was last year? And yeah. it'll, be, okay. it'll be the third Saturday this May. Okay. It'll it's the third Saturday. 21st or 22nd, I don't do we know. Twenty first, I think. Yeah. Very good. How come they put catfish in there, Lewis? Probably the cheapest. Sorry. The uh, I know why they did it. Oh, because uh, you know that's why I was asking. Uh, if if we ran the event uh, in March or April, we could probably get trout because there's trout in there now. They stock the trout into the pond, but when they uh, if you do it later in the year, the water is the water is so shallow that uh, the only thing that can really survive in there is uh, is the catfish. Well, there's catfish in there. There's carp. There's bass. Uh, they live in there year round, uh, but trout would have a hard time in the warm water. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they, they I think they've already stocked it with trout because I've seen people out there fishing like crazy. What'll happen to them? Well, they get fished out, but anything that's floating will be uh, the ospreys get them. Anything that sinks, the turtles eat them. Nothing go to waste. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Earl. Uh, let's see, we we have our five guys. Uh, Chris Brown opened up, and that was a good thing. Uh, 
that question about um, the Happy Forty property, the uh, old mm -hmm. Happy Forty. What's going on with that? Anybody know? Mm -hmm. It's I not saw, an operation under that. I saw her just come down and leave it stand still. Um, it's just the eyesore out there, Route 40. But anyway, how about the Ruby Tuesday bill? Any, any, we got any takers? Well, Jean's got some answers, maybe? Uh, yes, it's my understanding. I'll be, we'll be having a meeting this week with representatives from Taco Bell that will be acquiring the property. It's my understanding that they'll be looking at the property in Taco Bell there. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be public knowledge, but. Well, uh, it is now. <laughs> uh, and then what do we do with the old Taco Bell there? Uh, maybe it'll be two of them. Okay. Two of uh, the only other thing I had before, is, uh, oh, Earl, what is the five guys? You've been there? Five guys, uh, burgers. Oh, that was the burger. I have some idea. Chipotle. Yeah, I, I, I ate from there yesterday for the first time. Five guys. Yeah. It was really good. So if, you're, so if you ask for a burger, and they're the finest burgers you'll get, they're all hand-packed, hand-made that morning. But you should always, if you don't want a double burger, everything, if you ask for a cheeseburger, it'll be a double. So you got to ask for a little cheeseburger to get a single patty. And they are large. Okay. French fries are delicious. Expensive. <laughs> but very good eat. Mm. Do they have, can, you, can you eat in there? You can. So I stopped up uh, the other night also and uh, since I gave up red meat for Lent, uh, I went in for french fries and a milkshake. <laughs> That's what I had. Good for you. Anything else, Rob? Um, the only other thing I have is I'm helping this Eagle Scout to, to uh, achieve full Eagle Scout status in one of his projects. He's got to do something to benefit the community. We have been looking into placing, uh, he wants to build and place permanently benches around the Howard's Pond, which is unrelated to my fishing rodeo. I just thought that would be a nice thing for the community to have. Um, we are dealing with, I've talked to Jean, I've talked to Michelle and, and Chip, and we're dealing with the DNR and um, who else? Uh, Army Corps of Engineers Army from Corps, the floodplain. Right. And we're, we're waiting to hear, have we, have we heard anything back from We needed any? details of the, um, the, how the benches were going to be constructed. You still haven't got that? No. Because they told me they sent it. Now, he has been approved by his troop for the project. He had to be approved for it. Uh, so I know we've gotten that far. And I know that they have three different options of benches. I will text them immediately after the meeting and, and make sure that they send those things over to you. Thank you. And if that project fails to pass by the Corps of Engineers and the DNR, we have two backup projects. One to be um, replace and repair all the benches at Meadow Park, or possibly build picnic tables for the community center. Something Dan Hanley had suggested as they've been after Public Works to build them. And so if we can't get that approved, and I hope we do, um, then we've got Plan B and Plan C. I used to know a band by that name. They were awesome. <laughs> Anything else? That's all for me. Uh, I did have one additional thing. Luke, could you take a look at, there's a, uh, I, I have a resident, uh, we have a resident in the town of Elton, uh, lives off of Continental. Um, her, her house and her neighbor's house is butt up against the uh, uh, final project of uh, Ryan Holmes. Ryan Holmes and, uh, uh, I know that we're doing the plantings. The plantings are getting ready to go in, the final landscaping, but she uh, asked me again last night about a stockade fence uh, going across the back of that property. And if we could take a look at it, I think Chip is actually taking a look at it. Uh, if we can do it, I know it can only be eight foot tall and it would only be the length of a couple houses and I'm not looking at putting chain link it would be, uh, you know, the stockade panels. Maybe we could do it and then make everyone happy. I don't think it'll affect her vision to those houses. I really don't. Uh, but uh, we've got about seven houses over there that's uh, been pretty hot and heavy at me. You want Ryan to build it? 
Uh, listen, I think seven. I, I think it's something that we could handle. I think it'd probably be a couple thousand dollars in panels. Maybe take a look at it and see if it makes sense. Oh, I, I when I was thinking about it's not our property to build on. That's, a, That's true. That was the issue. Um, okay. Can we ask them to do it? We could ask the uh, we could ask uh, them to do it. They could put it on their property behind here before they sell this. Do you know if they've any yeah, occupancy? Private lots there that extend back to the property line to adjacent property. So right. uh, I'm not sure where the town of Elton would put a was there, on somebody's private. Was property. there an easement back here, Jean? I believe it was a Mason Dixon trail um, that we required them to leave open not continuously open, but at least in that area we've observed the Mason-Dixon Trail, and I believe that's right behind the houses. Between the, the um, that property and <clears throat> the, um, the adjacent neighborhood. Maybe we can take a look at it, all of us get together and brainstorm, but yeah, sure, because we, we have to have a survey done to delineate property lines and everything, so talking many thousands of dollars. So, you know, the, the, the you know. answer might be, uh, I don't think they've sold any of those houses yet, have they? Do we know? I think they have sold some. I, no. I'm not sure which ones they've sold. I know that they were selling pretty quickly. Yeah, I know. Chip, I mean, Chip said that because they were selling some of the houses there. Well, maybe we, maybe you guys can talk about it tomorrow at the uh, staff meeting if you have one. And I'm kind of out on the limb there a little bit with the, those neighbors over there. They're just... Uh, I, I don't I don't see how that fence is going to provide any blockage. It's a more of a psychological fence. It, a, it is a cycle, and that's what I'm saying. It could be done by the four by four by eight panels, which really aren't all that expensive. But you have a good point about the surveying. Uh, but there could be, like Jean said, there could be a way that we do it, and we're just uh, keeping the Mason Dixon Trail open. Has to be, have to protect that trail. There you go. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks. If this is the time of the meeting, we open up the floor for anyone that has anything to say. Pat, you have anything good for the town of Elton? Well, I don't know how good it is for the town, but it'll work for me. Uh, I did. We were talking about utility poles. Okay, Delmarva's poles. Uh, we have a pole down at Elk Landing in front of the stone house, which at night really needs to be lit. But the light keeps going off and on all night long. I watch the cameras every day. I get through 24 hours. And I don't know if it's up to Elk Landing to contact Delmarva or if somebody from the town. Michelle, is that you? Well, Michelle, could you please do that for us? Do you have, would you happen to have the tag number on the phone? You know what? Every time I go down there, that's the one thing I go down for and I forget to do it because I get sidetracked. By gotcha. Well, well, we'll get down there and take a picture of the tag number and that makes it easy for them to come out and do it. And also, I had a question for Mr. Massimino. Uh, with the fishing rodeo, uh, do you need volunteers to get your lines re-strung up or retied or anything? Because I think the chief and I can attest some of them came back in really nasty shape. <laughs> um, all of the poles are going to be stripped oh, okay. clean and re-strung with new line this year. That's going to happen very soon, within the next few weeks. Okay. I just don't need any volunteers. I, I will need volunteers. Um, if you want to give me your name and number, then I mean, I know your name, but give me your number <laughs> and I'll, I'll contact you when I'm ready to go in there. Okay. Um, Lewis, I am able to go in there on a Sunday, correct? Oh, that's going uh, yeah. to cost me. Really? Uh, <laughs> I think we can get you the key. Guard security system. Yeah. And, and how would I go about getting the key from you? You come see me and say I need a key, Lewis. Just come see you on a Friday. Matter of fact, uh, you can get it today if you have for the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Now you're supposed to have like yes. two minutes, two minutes of your time after the meeting. We're going to go into a close. Do you need me personally, or do you? Can you? Well, either you or the chief. Yeah, the chief. You'll have the chief. Okay, this is uh, anyone on the Zoom meeting have anything to say for the good of the town? This is going to be, I think, our last Zoom meeting. Oh, that was another question. This uh, is it. Are, what, are, I know it said as, as of April 1st, you're not doing any Zoom meetings. Have you decided on a time of when you're going to be holding your meetings? I think for right now, we're going to continue at noon. At noon? Okay. We're going to continue. It works, it works well for us. We did a, uh, a late meeting again, uh, I guess it was two months ago. Yeah.
But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm extremely flexible. I think, I think it just kind of, kind of, it's nice to be able to have staff here if we have any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's bad for the residents of the town that want to come, but quite frankly, no one comes to our meetings. I think we must be doing all right. Uh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone have anything to say? Dan, is that you wanting to say something? Nope. I'm good. All right. All right. Well, uh, we're going to have a closed meeting to discuss uh, the Patriots Landing Annexation Agreement and also the Memorandum of Understanding with the Alliance. You had uh, some comments on it. And with that, I need a motion to close the meeting. So moved. Second. And a second. And uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And we will not reconvene. This meeting's adjourned.